Hey everybody, it's Sean Kennedy. Thanks for coming by Open Visual Effects. Today we're going to take a look at this creepy scene and we're going to look at how the track, the 3D track that was created inside of Nuke, how we can move that into Blender uh, so that we can then create elements for the shot in either program we want. Uh, we're not restricted to just, just one program or the other. We can move back and forth as needed. Uh, you can see in this shot I've done a few different things. Uh, I've used uh, map painting elements on cards for things like the body on the pike and that, that's kind of the center the center of the focus and um, the spider web here in the front and I've also in Blender I've created a falling leaves particle system I've created these skulls that are kind of up on this tree to be creepy uh, so you, this way you know you can jump back and forth if you don't need 3D you can do it in 2D if you do need 3D that option is there so uh, let's go ahead and dive in and take a look. Okay, so here we are inside of Nuke. You can see I've got the uh, the entire comp script is open, which I'll go over in another video if you're interested in that. But if you just want to see how to get the track out, here's how we're going to do that. So I've got a 3D track, whole match move in here that I created inside of Nuke. Uh, if you're working in a studio, you may get your match move uh, for Nuke from another department. That's usually how it works. Uh, your match move department will export it for you for Nuke. You'll have it. Um, and then if you want to, you know, if you want to use that, if you want to add your own blender elements to it, um, you can either export it or retrack it. Exporting is obviously the easier option. So what the scene is going to look like here in Nuke is uh, you've got a scene node with all your 3D elements plugged into it. I've got a bunch of cylinders. And uh, if we go switch over to the, uh, let me take a look at that. There you go. There's our whole 3D scene. I've got a bunch of cylinders that kind of represent trees. Um, if we actually look through the camera, I've got a card here that uh, represents the spider web where I wanted that to be. I've got the point cloud. Uh, I have a couple cards in here that are turned off that just kind of go back in space. You can kind of see that they're just spaced in there. Um, and that's it, really. And I've got the camera plugged in. So the trick is... Uh, now, in Nuke, you don't need to have the camera plugged into the scene for everything to still be working. Uh, for exporting, everything that we're going to use this right geo node, um, which uh, obviously just right geo, there's only two right nodes, right and right geo. Um, you're going to plug that directly into the scene. If you want your camera, which I'm sure you do, make sure your camera is plugged into that scene. It's only going to export things that are plugged into the scene. So the right geo node is pretty empty here, you can see. Um, it's just looking for a file path to write to. So let's go ahead and jump in here. And I've got one I've been using called Final right here. O OVFX, Nuke to Blender, 01, Export Final, ABC. So the ABC is the Alembic file format, which is what we're going to use here. You can also export, uh, well, let me pick that and I'll show you. So type in a name you want. Make sure you add the .abc. Uh, you can also export FBX and OBJ. I typically use uh, Alembic because it's it just tends to work really good for me. Uh, I'm going to leave all these options on, the axes, cameras, point clouds, geometries. Uh, sometimes I'll just do the camera and geometry, um, but for this, we'll just leave everything on. Uh, the storage format, you do not want HDF. You want the Ogawa. Uh, I don't know why. I've never really looked into it, but in my testing, HDF never works. Ogawa always works. And that's it. Once you've got all that set up in there, just go ahead and hit execute up here at the top. And then uh, you got your frame range to, to verify. And the, yes, this is the correct frame. It's a... Uh, it's a strange frame range just because uh, the, f the numbering of the original file set. So whatever. Hit OK. And you will see that it's now going to run through it. You can watch your camera move in slow motion as it's saving out all the files. It should go great. And there we go. So now that file saved. In Blender now, in 2.82a, uh, we're going to go ahead and open that file. So I'm going to select everything and delete it all. And we're going to go to File, Import, Alembic. Uh, navigate to where that is. Here it is right here. Open visual effects, nuke to blender. Uh, and I'm just going to hit import Alembic. So there it is. There's our scene. Looks great. If we go to the camera view, everything looks great. It even set our frame range for us. So that's looking great. However, one issue is that the scale of this is off. It may not look off until you add something in like say a UV sphere and it's huge. And that's just, you know, the default setting of, uh, you know, whatever, two units. So uh, something's wrong there, right? So let's hit X and delete that. Let's select everything and delete them. And let's do that again. Try again. Uh, import, Alembic, 
grab that same thing and up here under the settings open that up here's where you've got your set frame range your relative path and we want to mess with this scale i'm going to go ahead and just sit, hit 10 see what happens uh, this is where the only place I really have to experiment sometimes depending on where you get the Alembic file from whether it's Nuke or Maya or a 3D uh, match moving program. Uh, you may have to mess with the scale to kind of get it in the ballpark uh, of what you're doing. Generally anything will work but if you're doing things like uh, particles or smoke where you have to use physics uh, then it tends to become a little more important because the physics kind of work with a real world scale so you just kind of got to get it in the ballpark. So let's go ahead and import that with its scale of 10. Same scene. And if we add in our UV sphere now, much more reasonably sized so we can delete that again. And now you can see we've got our full scene in here. And that is basically it. So now you can create things in here. And uh, when you render them out, they will fit seamlessly as elements into your nuke scene. And uh, yeah, so give it a try yourself. I've even given you uh, another project here, actually. Uh, I've got another uh, match move set up in Nuke for you that has no solve. I haven't. Uh, I'll give. I'm going to obviously give you the Alembic and all the project files here. Um, but uh, this one, I'm not giving you anything. I've done the match move for you. Feel free to open it up and try to export it. I've got a box in there. There's even a light in there. Uh, super basic scene, but uh, you know, try and export it and see how you do. So, cool. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming by, and I'll see you in the next one.